Hello everybody! In this session we are going to be looking at what affects the performance of a network. Okay, so there's quite a lot of things that can affect the performance of a network. But the main ones are going to be bandwidth, depending on whether it's wired or wireless, the network. Interference on wireless networks and your choice of hardware, so what hardware you've bought when you set up the network. So what is bandwidth? So bandwidth is the amount of data that can be transferred in a given time. So this is where my little weird picture comes from with these cars and the lanes. So if you think about my drive in the morning to work where I go on the motorway, if it's at say three in the morning, there's not gonna be much traffic, which is another word that you can actually use when describing a network. And if it's busy, lots of people are using it. You can say there's lots of traffic. But if too much data is transferred at one time, the performance will slow down. So it's a bit like if I leave at rush hour in the morning, there's going to be tons and tons of cars there and I will definitely slow down with my journey to work. It's going to take me a lot longer to get there. And it's exactly the same when using a network. If there's lots of users logged in, lots of people using the services of the network, logging in at the same time or trying to access a file at the same time, because all of those users are going to be sending traffic, then it's gonna really slow down the network. So when you set up a network, you can choose whether you're gonna set up as a wired network or a wireless network. Now, wired networks are faster and more reliable than wireless. A regular ethernet cable usually has around 10 times faster transfer rate than it does a wireless network. But then lots of networks will use fiber optic as well, which is even faster than that. And we will do a lesson on network hardware, which goes into a bit more detail about each one and which one performs the best. But also wireless is affected by things like interference, which is just quite literally physical obstructions like the walls and doors. So if you're sat upstairs in your bedroom and you're using a wireless network to connect to your router downstairs or something like that, and you've got your door closed, you don't want to wake anybody up while you're talking to your friends or something like that, then that is, an, that is a physical obstruction and it will affect the performance of your device. But also your devices have only got limited range. So if you live in quite a large house, for example, and your, your bedroom is further away, then it will also affect the performance of your device if it's operating wirelessly. Depending on your budget and how much money you've got to set up your network, your choice of hardware will affect the performance of the network as well. Because there's multiple pieces of hardware that do a similar job, but some of them do it in a much more efficient way. So if you can afford the more expensive one, it will affect the performance of your network in a positive way. One piece of hardware that would affect the performance of your network is if you had to choose a hub over a switch or vice versa. So you would normally always go for a switch rather than a hub because with a hub you have more data collisions whereas a switch, because it uses a MAC address, it goes all data goes directly to where it needs to be which means there's less collisions which means it will perform much faster. And also, when you're actually buying the cabling for your network, if you can choose fiber optic cables, then that will have much better performance than a copper cable. But again, fiber optic cable is much more expensive, so it depends on how much budget you've got when you're setting up your network. Okay, just some questions to practice on what affects the performance of a network. So state two ways Mr. Moore could improve the wireless network performance in the upstairs bedroom. Mr. Moore switched from using a wireless network to a wired network. Explain how introducing a wired network could speed up the performance. Mr. Moore has a family of five. How can bandwidth affect the performance of a network? So I'm just going to give you the chance to pause the video and give these questions a go. And we're going to go through the answers very shortly. Okay, let's go through the answers. So state two ways Mr. Moore could improve the wireless network performance in the upstairs bedroom. So you could reduce the interference between the bedroom and the router, and you could move your network hardware closer to the bedroom. Uh, Mr. Moore switched from using a wireless network to a wired network. Explain how introducing a wired network could speed up the performance. So wired networks are not affected by interference. This will provide a consistent, strong connection. And finally, Mr. Moore has a family of five. How can bandwidth affect the performance of a network? So each device connected to the network will use bandwidth. If more devices are connected, performance will slow down. And that's it for this session. I'll see you next time.